I showed up for practice one day. I don't want to be there. Somebody finally told me, you don't have the school spirit to last on this squad. I'm Rosebud Baker, and this is the story of how I got benched as a cheerleader. So it's freshman year, everybody's got flip phones, everybody's listening to NSYNC or the Backstreet Boys. I went to public school, which is great, but it wasn't what you imagine. We were kids from suburbs of DC. All of our parents were like diplomats and whatever. And everybody got a car before their 16th birthday. I'm talking Jettas. All right, pretty looks. So on the outside, I look like this. You know, as long as I don't open my mouth and like you don't hear this voice coming out, I really fully fit the profile of a cheerleader. But on the inside, I was a drama kid with too much eyeliner. I wrote poetry, which is embarrassing to this day, actually more embarrassing than this entire story. And I was an artsy loser. My parents were like, you're a horrible student. You always have been. You're gonna need something that's gonna help you get into colleges. I'm 13 and my parents are like, what college is she going to? So they, they wanted me to be involved in sports and I was like, well, I could join the cheerleading squad because that'll be artistic. I thought I would be able to express myself creatively through the high art of cheerleading. I auditioned. Yes, there's an audition. You have to do a seven day camp where they teach you how to do the splits. I don't know why it takes seven hours a day. I had this whole dance background, so I happened to be a good cheerleader. I'm a tiny, muscular pit bull. At the end of the week, I mean, I nailed it. I was amazing. but. Not enough people actually showed up to actually make the audition necessary. There were seven of us and they were like, well, you're all getting in. Already I'm starting from a place of, why am I even here? I don't remember the cheers that we did, but I do remember the vibe of the girls on the squad. And they were just like, BFFs, so excited to be there. Oh my God, every time I see my friends, I can't stop screaming. And they've been friends ever since. They've been to bachelorette parties together. They've been to Vegas. They're still those people. And I have not been invited to a single wedding because I ended up with a drinking problem, obviously, and had to quit. So I got to high school and we're all forced to wear our uniforms every Friday. I would go to school in my cheerleading uniform, a highly sexualized outfit, and I would get sexually harassed all day. That was just part of the deal. The top of it was an actual corset made of canvas. It squished your in so that they were in your neck and then you wore a skirt that covered enough of your vagina to not distract the male teachers. And then you just wore underwear. I ended up, you know, kind of losing my enthusiasm for cheerleading. It was hard for me to get excited about something that was literally leading to me being sexually harassed and, and also just hated across the school because I didn't like the other people that I worked with on the squad that I worked with. <laughs> and by the way, I was hot. I'm not gonna lie, like I kinda was the only hot one and nobody knew me. The rest of the cheerleaders, like they all just decided that they hated me. After that first day of school, of me walking around looking like what my grandmother would call a tart, I went home and my house was egged the next day and like slut was written on my driveway. I haven't even been fingered. Oh, I know. Oh, and if they're watching this, I think it was Jessica What's her face? Listen, if you're watching this, I know it was you and you're a slut because you have three kids. Get a handle on yourself, all right? Please keep that in. Yeah, at this point, I was like, this is not who I am. This is not what I want. This is a nightmare. I gotta find a way out of this. I showed up for practice one day. My patience is waning. I don't wanna be there. Somebody probably named Stacy finally told me, you don't have the school spirit to last on this squad. Well, maybe if any of you had anything intelligent to say, I might be excited to be here. Is that cool, Alexis? I laid into her. I told her that she was a basic bitch. I also, I might have insulted her appearance. I did. She started crying immediately. So Alexis or whoever, Stacy goes and tells the squad leader and I get benched.
which I didn't even know was a thing. I spent the next couple of games sitting on the bench between two injured football players. It's humiliating enough to be a cheerleader. It's another whole thing entirely when you're a cheerleader sitting on the bench for lack of team spirit. That's the only thing we're responsible for. And, and then I was benched again three more times before I was told that I wasn't a good fit for the squad, that I lack team spirit. And I learned my lesson, which is be true to who you are. If what you're good at is smoking weed and listening to Tool and going to fish shows, do that shit. And I got very good at that. And I had a lot of spirit when it came to that.